In the early hours of July 12, 2015, a brutal murder took place in the quiet suburb of Manchester, England. The victim was Miriam Yazema, a 37-year-old nurse and a mother of two, who had moved to the UK from Zimbabwe in 2003. The killer was her ex-boyfriend, Joseph Mutekeza, a 36-year-old former Zimbabwean soldier who was now a territorial army private in the UK. The territorial army, renamed the Army Reserve in 2013, is an army of volunteers which support the British Army, so he was basically part of the reserve army in England. Joseph was engaged to the mother of his son, but began an affair with Miriam. The relationship between Miriam and Joseph had been turbulent and violent. Miriam had reported Joseph to the police several times for domestic abuse and had obtained a restraining order against him. Joseph, however, was obsessed with Miriam and refused to let her go. He stalked her, harassed her, and threatened her with death. He even hired a private investigator to spy on her and find out where she was now living. On the night of the murder, Joseph decided to go fix his ex-girlfriend. When she arrived home with a new boyfriend who had come from Zimbabwe, he was enraged. He stabbed Miriam 26 times in the chest, the neck and the back, and also hit her with her hammer. He attacked her with such ferocity that the blade snapped and was left protruding from the back. He was arrested at the scene in a blood-covered white shirt after calling 999. He told the operator that I have stabbed someone and she was cheating on me. The police believed the man with Miss Nyazema was Jacob Chigombe, who was in a relationship with her even though he denied this. The post-mortem examination concluded that Miriam had died as a result of multiple stab wounds to her head and upper body. He claimed that he had acted in a fit of rage and jealousy and that he really loved Miriam. He also said that he was suffering from PTSD as a result of his experiences in the Zimbabwean army. The judge, however, rejected his claims and sentenced him to life imprisonment with a minimum term of 26 years. He said that Joseph had shown no remorse and that he had committed a savage and barbaric murder. He also said that Joseph had destroyed the lives of Miriam's family, friends and her children. Miriam's family and friends paid tribute to her as a beautiful, kind and loving person who had dedicated her life to helping others. They said that she was a wonderful mother to her children and that she had a bright future ahead of her. They also said that they hoped that Jasfat would rot in jail for what he had done and that they would never forgive him.